hard should I be flexing right now? Real hard. <laughs> hey guys, Kyle Kogan from Slogan Media. Today I'm going to talk about some of the basic functions of the 7D Canon camera. So if you want to change your aperture, i.e. how much light you let into your camera, you play with this dial here. You move it this way to open it up. You know, you notice now he's overexposed. And his background is a lot softer. If you move it this way, you're going to close it. And as you'll notice, the screen's going to get a lot darker because it's letting in a lot less light. And as I close it, the background becomes clear but much darker. Uh, if I want to change the ISO, which is another word for gain, let's say that you know, I hold down this center button right here, like this. When I hold that down, you'll notice that little white bar line up right there at the bottom. That tells you how many stops it's over or underexposed. Right now, I'm over one. What I advise you to do here is to first play with your aperture to get the best looking image possible before you even consider using the ISO or gain function. Playing with the ISO, which is the gain, which is a button that's right here, at the very top. You'll notice I press the ISO button and then I use this dial right here to either go up to the right or down to the left. Now as I go up, you'll see that the image is getting a lot brighter because I'm adding light to it, an artificial light to it. In such good lighting as this, I have such natural lighting coming from the windows over there. I'd say keep it at 100 um, just so that you avoid harming your image because when you add gain, it's artificial light and it will add grain, especially with the 7D sensor. So only use gain if absolutely necessary. Lastly, is shutter speed. Now we played with this dial before. If you don't prime it by pressing any of these buttons, by going like this you'll notice the uh, number on the left. That's your shutter speed, okay? This number right here, that's your aperture. But this number all the way to the left is your shutter speed. Um, if I move it to the left, you'll notice it goes down, and that means that the shutter is closing 30 times per second. And you notice as I move around, the type of effect that I get. If I move it to the right, and you see it says 60, um, it is only closing 60 times per second. But if I move it all the way to 100, 125, 160, that means that the shutter is actually opening and closing 160 times, which is why the image looks darker. You get a much more skinny shutter, Saving Private Ryan style effect. And that's all we have for today. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll have an update for you next week.